Here we have a contract form built in Serum 4, which we're now upgrade to Serum 2011 and build in the Envision stencils. Now I'm going to go into the Envision stencils. First thing I'm going to do is drag the empty form, line it up with the guidelines, and place it onto the form, and then rename it. Place contract in four places. Tab, form name, the view, and then the URL. Next we're going to put the user and the organization name on the form. This can be whatever you want it to be. Next we're going to start working the side navigation. To do that we need to change stencils. First we're going to do is drag an area link and place it on the form, snap it to the guide. Give it a name, it's going to be general. I'm going to place another one on the form. Right click it, I'm going to make it the last one. I'm going to rename that and call that notes. Next, we're going to work on the related entities. You need to drag a title across, snap that to the guide, give it a name, it's going to be details. And add the side navigation items, also snap those to the guide. Select which item you want, it's activities. Another one, snap that to the guide, it's going to be close activities. Can I add one more title? It's going to be processes. Another side navigation item, this one's going to be your workflows. Finally, one last one. This is going to be your dialogue sessions. Next, we're going to move across to the form itself. We're going to start by adding an area heading, drag that onto a form, snap it to the guide, give it a name that's going to be general, and then to add the first field. It's going to be a drop down, drag that, snap that to the guide. It's going to be half width. We give it a name. It's going to be contract type. Next, we're going to add a text box field. Drag that onto the form. Snap to the guide. It's going to be full width. This is going to be contract ID. Add another text box field. Snap to the guide. It's going to be half width. This is going to be contract name. Next field we're going to add is a lockup. Drag that onto the form, snap to the guide. It's going to be half width. I'm going to call this agent. I'm going to drag another lockup onto the form now. Snap that to the guide. It's also going to be half width. I'm going to call this agent contact. I'm going to work on the other side of the form now. I'm going to scroll across. Add another lookup. Snap that to the guide. It's going to be half width. We're going to call that contact. Now I'm going to add a drop down. Snap that to the guide. It's going to be half width also. And we're going to call that status. I'm going to go back to the other side of the form now. I can add a section hidden, drag that onto the form, snap to the guide. I'm going to call that dates. I'm going to add a date field to the form, snap it to the guide. It's going to be half width. I'm going to call that start date. Add another date field. Snap to the guide. It's going to be half width. You're going to call it expiry date. 
Next, the man of text field. Drag that onto the form. Snap to guide. It's going to be half width. I'm going to call that duration of days. Scroll across now, do the other side. Drag another date field onto the form. Snap to the guide. It's going to be half width. I'm going to call that sent on date. I'm going to add one more date onto the form now. Snap to the guide. It's going to be half width. I'm going to call that renew on date. I'm going to scroll back across now. Add another section heading. Snap it to the guide. I'm going to call that one comments. I'm going to add an in-text field, drag that onto the form and snap to the guide. I'm going to get rid of the text because we don't need it. Extend the box out and drag it down as far as you like it. Finally, I'm going to add another area section. Right click, we're going to make it up so we don't have to display it. We're going to call it notes. Finally, we're going to add a required field. Right click on contract type. Going to make it required. Here we have it. Complete form.